Hi loves, welcome back. Today we're gonna do a little TJ Maxx shopping. You already know I love me some TJ Maxx and I especially love going when it is a brand new season even though technically we're still in summer because fall starts September 23rd so I'm a little early but in my mind as soon as September hits it is fall even though it's literally over 90 degrees outside and blazing hot but still it's fall. So we're gonna do a little shopping, browse the aisles, see what's new. So make sure you guys grab a snack, get cozy, and let's get into it and have some girl time. I always start in the jewelry first, and look at how freaking cute these chunky gold hoops are. They're from the brand House of Harlow, and they're $12.99. There's a couple bigger ones too, like these are really pretty. They have some thinner ones here. Ooh, even these. Nice little variety pack for $25. And these little pearl hoops are so cute. I don't know if these hoops are a little bit too big. Also from the same brand, House of Harlow. They're silver. Are they like too chunky? I always love looking at all the purses. And I actually really like this one, I think. It's in the Nanette Lepore. It's 20 bucks, but I just love the simplicity of it with the simple gold chain. They always have the cutest bags. Like this one is actually also kind of cute. I love the color for fall. Oh, it's another Nanette Lepore. Oh, it's like the same bag. It's just a different color. Now the question is, do we go with the camel color or do we go with black? I kind of like this color for fall, like duh, but then black is classic. I'm gonna put both in the car and just walk around until I figure out which one I want more. I'm really into this little Michael Kors bag too. I love square bags like this because they're usually really deep and you can fit a lot of stuff in them, but they're not super big. Like some Michael Kors wallets as well. They actually usually have a ton of Michael Kors and Coach. That is so cute. I actually really like this. I kind of don't love this little MK though in the front, but I love the brown with the black. I love this nude colored bag as well. I actually really would prefer a nude bag because I usually always get black or brown. Even this guest bag is really pretty too. It's $40. I like the big thick strap and the gold chain. I also love this orange color. I feel like it would be so pretty in the summer, but also a good fall color too. If you've ever wanted to try some Kiss press-on nails, they have tons of them here, all different styles and lengths. Press-ons are gonna make a comeback for me, but I really like the Kiss ones. They just don't last a super long time on me, but I know a lot of people can make these last like two, three weeks. I'm not one of those people, but I do enjoy press-on nails and I like the Kiss variety that they have. This brand of body sprays is delicious. I have another one that I got last year and it's still one of my favorite scents and this one smells so good. It's a bit of a deeper, sweeter scent. Perfect for fall or for like date night. White diamonds. This scent always reminds me of my mom and my tias when I was growing up. This is all that they wore and Red Door. Also spotted the Saint Tropez tanning kit. You get a shower tanning gel a mousse and the mitt for $24.99. Apparently it's a $75 value, so this is actually a good deal. And these are full size too. I also can never let go of Juicy Couture perfumes. They smell so good. And I feel like with Juicy Couture perfumes, they last so long on me too. I don't think I've ever tried this one. The original is my favorite and they also have this white packaging one here. Makeup section is looking pretty good and stocked up. First thing I see is this Too Faced Shadow Insurance. This is $9.99. I don't think I've actually ever tried this, but I remember this being super popular like 10 years ago on YouTube. Found some milk makeup. They actually have a bunch of milk makeup here today. This is the, oh, the Gripping Eye Primer. I've tried this before. It's pretty good and $7.99 here. And I actually used to use this Kush Fiber Brow Gel. This is $8.99. I think this is the color that I used to use, but this is really good. And they have a couple different shades here. I never got a chance to try this Jaclyn Cosmetics Skin Perfecting Tint, but it is $7.99 here, wow. Found another brow product, Fluffy Brow Gel from Too Faced for $9.99. There's a random BFF cream gel liner from ColourPop. I love these. They have the best shades. It's only $3.99. They always have the most random things here. Like this is a little mango lip balm from Anastasia Beverly Hills for $4.99. And then like a random Flower Beauty blush balm. These are also really good. You can get them at CVS. It's a really natural liquid blush, but they have them here for $3.99. I wonder if they're getting discontinued. That's what always comes to my mind whenever I see certain products from certain brands. Another little blush balm here. So pretty, this color spiced. I actually have this one. Lots of palettes. If you ever need new eyeshadow palettes, come to TJ Maxx. They are fully stocked with neutrals, 
colorful palettes affordable they have some even you can find higher end brands here too like for eyeshadows speaking of that literally a Too Faced palette better than chocolate is this old this palette why do i feel like this recently came out these colors look so pretty i actually really like Too Faced eyeshadows more jacqueline cosmetics this is the luminous powder i've actually heard really good things about her brands and the quality of her products this once upon a time used to be one of my favorite primers from touch and soul the no problem this is so smoothing and this is gwen stefani's makeup line and this is the multi prep and smooth it's a facial oil 7.99 this brand is at sephora a random little mac fix plus back there and a kvd foundation this is a classic the locket tattoo foundation this used to be one of my favorites super full coverage and long lasting this little nyx palette is definitely at the drugstore for like 20 bucks i've seen it before and it's only six dollars here sephora collection eyeshadows they have quite a few of these here this jacqueline cosmetics luxe legacy palette is 16.99 i just looked on ulta's website and it's over 50 dollars there and it's still available or i think actually just kidding it's like 49 dollars. but that's a really good deal because it's a huge huge palette and you get tons of different shades i also found this makeup eraser for five dollars i believe this is just one of them which is yeah that's just one makeup eraser this is a really good cloth to use either just with water or with another makeup remover and it does it such a nice job at removing your especially eye makeup but then you don't have to use as many makeup wipes when you're taking everything off so i love the makeup eraser also they have these little powder puffs a 16 piece for ten dollars these are always nice for setting your under eyes but you can also get these on amazon on, but they have them here too all of the fall stuff is just making me so excited for cooler weather i do really enjoy the fall i'm not decorating for fall just yet but i love seeing all the soaps and everything i will definitely be back for more but i definitely have enough pumpkins to be honest but i do really like these like this for the kitchen is adorable Steve Madden sneakers for fall. The tones, the style of them, they are a little bit bulky, but I think they're so cute. I'm gonna put them in my cart, but I'm gonna think about it first. How pretty are these cups? They kind of look like these ones that I got from Amazon. I love them. And look at these mugs for tea. I kind of like really love these. $10 for both. I might have to get these. All the fall decor makes me so happy. Look at this little squirrel. Are you kidding? So cute. And I love all of these pumpkins down here. This is so my vibe. And this would match our downstairs beautifully. But Lord knows I don't need any more pumpkins. And I think if I get any more decor for Halloween or for fall, my husband is going to lose his mind. So I'm gonna refrain for now. <gasps> Look at these. Oh my God. I need to get out of here. I love all of these. Okay, this is officially all the things that I'm gonna get. I'm about to check out and I'll show you guys everything when I get home. I left a few things that I thought I was gonna get and I got some things that probably don't need, but then again, I do. I know I need those hangers, so I got those. And then some fall pieces, which I'm gonna try on when I get home, so let's check it out i love everything that i got and i actually got really lucky because the clothing pieces that i picked up i didn't try them on in stores but i got home and i tried everything on and everything fits minus one pair of pants that are a little bit too big on me but they were three dollars so i could not resist and i think i can totally make them work because they're not huge that kind of leads me to my next point which are my shopping rules first rule just because it's on sale doesn't mean you have to buy it and i kind of broke that rule this time but i mean a pair of pants for three dollars that is a steal but i am getting better at that and basically i say to myself if you wouldn't buy it full price then don't buy it just because it's on sale next rule for me is if i have to think about it for too long you don't need it just put it back 
there's a reason. And this last rule kind of goes hand in hand with the one that I just mentioned, but if I'm ever deciding between one or more items, I'll put them in my cart, let them sit for a little bit while I shop and kind of just think about it while I browse the aisles. And then at the end of the shopping trip, if I'm still having second thoughts, I put it back because that means I don't really need it. I don't want it. And just to avoid buyer's remorse. Those are my shopping tips and they truly do help. And I have been living by them for the most part. Let's start with the little accessories. I ended up getting the gold hoops from House of Harlow. These are so freaking cute. The quality of the pieces feels really nice, but they also don't feel super heavy, which is nice because they're not going to weigh your ears down. And then I also ended up getting the very chunky silver ones. I thought they were a little bit too big, but I actually tried them all when I got home. I'll show you guys actually now what they look like, but they're from the same brand house of harlow and i just love this statement piece because you can just keep your outfit so simple and casual bodysuit jeans sneakers but then you throw these on and it just elevates your look and i like these too because they're so chunky i love it but they're not too heavy so they don't again like weigh your ears down they're definitely bigger but i love the look of them obsessed so very much into these this was a good find speaking of jewelry i got this little dish to put rings and necklaces or just like more dainty pieces in i actually got another one whenever the last time i went to tj maxx and i love the way it looks on my vanity it's very aesthetic has some weight to it so it's really good quality and it's like this marble little dish you could honestly put anything in here maybe like soap or whatever but i feel like jewelry is your best option and i actually got this for my husband almost four years since we've been married and i still love saying my husband but he puts his rings and necklaces on the counter in the bathroom and i have a feeling one of these days something is going to go down the drain so i got him a little dish and it was 14.99 love it look at this gorgeous mirror you guys i'm obsessed 16.99 it's from the brand rachel ashwell and it is so beautiful you could put perfumes makeup also jewelry in here it's just a really gorgeous mirrored tray i don't know where i'm gonna put this but i couldn't resist i feel like this looks like something that you would get at a really expensive store and it would be at least 50 dollars. so under 20 really great quality i love the gold it's just very vintage very just Stunning. Got a pack of velvet hangers. These were 25 of them for $10. The first time I went to college, I discovered velvet hangers and I've never looked back since. You can put your clothes on here and then you don't have to worry about them sliding whenever they're in your closet, which is one of the most annoying things. So these are the best. Then I got the Indulgent Moments Spray. So this one is in Black Cherry and Tonka. I am obsessed with this brand, Indulgent Moments. I got another one a few years back, actually almost two years ago from TJ Maxx and I still have it here. It's the Pink Peony and Water Lotus. This is definitely a bit more floral, fresh, perfect spring or summer scent if you love florals. It smells so good. And I have been savoring this scent because I love the way it smells and I haven't been able to find another one from this brand that I love. They have a couple other ones, but some of them are a little bit stronger than what I prefer, but this one is the perfect sweet floral springtime daytime scent. The Black Cherry and Tonka is a bit deeper, stronger, sexier, but it's not too strong. It's not too mature and there is a little bit of sweetness in there with the Black Cherry. So it just makes for a perfect date night. Night, mm, evening scent i love it the bottles are also stunning and they're glass something i like about these two is that it's a really good mix of body spray and a perfume so it lasts longer than a traditional body spray but it's also not as strong as a perfume so if you guys see these definitely check them out they have such good scents and the bottles are just so beautiful so 14.99 i got these hangers strictly for aesthetic purposes for my office in here i have this little clothing rack which by the way is from amazon and i keep most of my blazers on here and i just thought this was a cute little addition i love getting cutesy stuff in here in my office because it's very girly it's pink it's fun and two pack for $6.99. I ended up getting the Steve Madden shoes. They are a little bit bulkier because like they just are, but I really like the way these look with just leggings or even with flared like yoga pants. And they're actually pretty comfortable. I mean, obviously I haven't worn them out, but normally Steve Madden shoes are not very comfortable even when you first try them on. I love Steve Madden heels, sandals, and the sneakers are just it. I really am into the tones and they were $49.99. This is another hoodie that I am so happy that I picked up. I love the color, but also the material is so soft and buttery. It feels like something that would be from Skims, to be honest. It's so soft and luxe. This brand I actually love. If you see it at Marshalls or TJ Maxx, highly recommend Happily Gray. They have such cute pieces. And I think for the most part, I mean, some things can be a little bit better quality than others, but I would say like sweaters and stuff 
very nice quality, good material, $16.99, but I love the feel of this. And then I got this other sweater. It's from Jessica Simpson, also $16.99, but what I love about this is that the little fuzzies on it, it's so soft, but it doesn't shed. It's so cozy. It honestly is like a blanket, but in a sweater form. I got another little top from the same brand, Happily Gray. This was $12.99 and it is cropped, but I feel like it's not too cropped and it would look so nice with maybe a cute pair of pants or jeans. And this green color, is one of my favorites. I think it's a really pretty summer color, but you could also transition it into the fall. And the material of this too, it has a nice stretch to it and it's a little bit thicker, which I like because it feels higher quality. I ended up getting these pants for $3. I was so happy. They were Blue Spice is the brand, by the way. Maybe I can make them work because they're not too big, but they're definitely not as form-fitted as what I would like. So what I think what I'm going to have my mom do is possibly just like sew a little bit of the waist. And she used to do that with my pants when I was little sometimes. So I think she can help me make these work because I love the color. I like the pockets on the side. They're not too long on the bottom and they just have a good fit to them. So, I mean, $3 for these pants. Are you kidding? Such a good deal. And I also ended up getting this gorgeous cream pair and these were $19.99 and they're from the brand Vanilla Star. They also have a bit of a flare on the bottom, but it's not too much. I'm 5'3", so usually stuff that flares, it'll drag up my feet a little bit, but these are perfect. And I would totally wear these with like a cute pair of heels. And these have actually even a softer material in the pants that I just showed you. It's like a that corduroy material that I love. Very flattering, very comfortable. So those are all the goodies that I picked up. Another successful shopping trip. This is your sign to go browse at TJ Maxx, see what's new. Even if you don't get anything, just go window shopping because it's always fun to just browse the aisles. And it's honestly so therapeutic for me. I guess it's not if you don't love shopping, but I, I truly love shopping. And even if I'm not buying anything, just window shopping is always a good time. So that is everything for today's video. Thank you guys for being here and hanging out with me. And I cannot wait to see you very soon in my next one. Bye.